Hi everyone, welcome. Um, this is the second time I'm recording this because it was a phone call and personal information was revealed. So I do want to apologize for that. I am a little tired because this is heavy energy. Um, today we're going to be talking about the military coup. How will it end? Will he try to kill Biden? And will there be? Uh, will he try to save the coup? And will Nancy Pelosi take going forward away from that? If you guys are interested in, you know, uh, checking out the description, I do have my. Everything, all, everything else that you're interested in, in the description. Without further ado, I'm going to start wasting your time and jump right into it. Okay, so about the military coup. What about the military coup today? If you guys know, today is November 11th and 2020. And so that today is a manifestation day. So what you think now will manifest into reality. So just be very careful what you're thinking. Okay, spirits and angels tell me about the military coup. So I'm trying to say the military coup. The Trump China stays a military coup. And just before we begin, just keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only, YouTube. Okay, it's Trump China to stay a military coup. It's Trump China to stay a military coup, spirits and angels. In the past, he knew that he lost the election. He was not the new leader. Right now, he knows he doesn't have a lot of polls left, uh, string left to poll. And he knows in the future Biden's going to be president. He knows in the future Biden's going to be president, right? We do have here, he doesn't have the money. Right now, he thinks he's still kind of a fighting chance to, come to be president in the future. And that falls right underneath Biden, right? But the information is going to be revealed about Trump. People are going to be very happy right now. People are very happy about the election. That they're being promised that we're going to go out of trouble water into smoother, calmer waters. In the past, he said that he didn't believe that there should be a transfer of power. Presently, there's a lot of rise of white supremacy. But in the future, again, again, it's Biden Harris. So it is Biden Harris. So all of it is the reason why he's doing um, the coup is because he wants the same power to prevent a Biden Harris presidency. That's why. And he's doing it because he's talking about like trying to stop socialism in America. But one thing people forget to realize is that being a Nazi is a socialist group. A lot of people tend to forget that. And um, yeah, uh, I was, I'm was i going to be making a video on, on this after. There was a video about the Proud Boys. And there's a civil war going on within inside the Proud Boy uh, group. What they're saying that they are tired of sick and tired of being uh, Trumpers, that they need to come out as pro Nazi. And so, um, but yet they have the nerve to be saying that they don't support like socialism policies and stuff like that. But if you look at Nazis' history in the 1940s, it was a socialist group in Germany. And so that's really interesting. So I will be doing a reading on that and then see if there would be a major effect. Will Nazi Germany be on a rise? Well, the Nazis be on a rise again? What's it seem to be happening so far? How will the uh, the military coup end? Spirits and answers, Tommy. How will the military coup end? Will the military coup even happen? It's one of those possibilities. Will Trump most likely be dragged out of the White House? Is he gonna be most likely be? Will there be a military coup by Nancy Pelosi to remove Trump from office? It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a battle here, right? We have here in the left is Trump. In the right, we have foreign interference, right? So the world is washing on this thing. And bottom is the future, right? And that falls right underneath the fighting. And then this, the thing that falls right in the middle is... It's all about money. It's really all about money here. Money, money, money. So this fight is all going to be about money. That's what it really is. Hmm. We have here, yeah, a man and a woman, so that's Biden Harris. The environment they won the presidency in time. It's the Biden timing. So it looks to me as if, like, everything that's happening right now is meant to happen for a particular reason. Because in the past, we had Trump. In the future, we have a new government, new world, right? A world order, really. Then we have Kamala. Then we have Biden, which is a man, right? Then underneath that, we have the presidency being handed over. This, this gets crossed like next to um the world. Was telling me that the presidency gets handed over to Joe Biden and Kamala, and then here the divine, and 
But then I clarify there's no transition, there's a rebirth here, there's gonna be a rebirth, and someone's gonna end up being forced to leave. So it looks like, if anything, Trump's gonna be dragged out of the White House. What I mean, I would rather have that happen than a, a coup, but at least we can see it on video, if you know what I mean. Okay, well, he's tried to kill Biden. Will Donald Trump plan to kill Biden if he tries to save the coup? Will Trump plan to try to kill Biden if he tries to save the coup? And the first cut is Biden. So it looks like it looks like a yes. Because the last time I got it, it looked like it was a big yes. Okay, so there's a lot of plan here. There's a lot of thought about this. There's a lost card on the right. The card that falls underneath Biden and it gets crossed by these two are sadness and sorrow. The top here is all about Trump trying to hold on to the presidency. And we have this card. So if you look on your left here, it's like really positive. If you look on your right, it's probably negative. And then Biden's in the middle, then underneath it is sadness. And then we have this again. So it looks like to me, it was a big plan. It's something that they have planned here. Right? Mm, that's good. Oh, we have Biden Harris again. So look, we have a woman here. So Nancy Pelosi, Kamala. We have Joe Biden again. And then we have this card. So it tells me the final outcome is going to be someone. Someone's going to take over. And they're hoping for Trump to come in. But it's the Democrats. Right? So they're trying to do something. They're trying to like manifest something into reality here. Whatever the hell they're manifesting is not good. So uh, I'm not trying to scare you guys. Don't be scared, okay? Just know that our tarot cards give me the likely outcome, but that thing, thing can change at any point in time. But it looks like he did plan to assassinate, and now please keep in mind, if I have to tell it's only YouTube, Joe Biden. So that was part of his plan. Will it be successful? Will it be successful, Spirit and Angel? Will it be successful to, to kill? Will Trump's kill be successful against the United States government? Will Trump's kill against the United States be successful. We have here, it's a challenge of the presidency. We have here the Democrats, right? The challenge of Trump versus the Democrats here. Yeah, it's the media. It really depends on the media and how the media portrays this thing. Because we have here Trump leaving, but we have in the, in the past, then we have the media. So in the past, there's something with the media. The media did something. They did something that giving out like false information or something. There's strife here. It's unknown. And then the beginning is new for the voters. I don't know guys, it's very confusing. Right, we have here, there's gonna be fighting, a new leader, and then it's gonna be heartbreak. So it looks like to me, it's very confusing the way this all is gonna turn out. It's not telling me a direct answer. It doesn't look like spirit and angels want me to know what's really gonna happen. But let's just look at the last one. It's about the Pentagon. What did he do with the Pentagon? What did Trump do with the Pentagon? Why did he fire four people from the Pentagon and replace it with loyalists? Why did he fire four people from the Pentagon? This card came out when I did this video. And these three cards actually came out, which is surprising. Okay, so we have here, he's upset about the election being handed to Biden. He wants the presidency for himself. And so he's gonna, he gonna stop at nothing to do whatever. Cause he believes that he will be victorious. Cause he has enough votes. And he thinks the American election is gonna be handed to him. And so that's, what, that's what's going on in Trump's head. He's currently analyzing the plan with the coup. And he thinks in time he's gonna get rid of Biden. But did a decision. So he hasn't made a decision just yet. And the scary part is that I did tell one of the readers, well one of the people I was reading for, and she would ask if there was gonna be a terrorist attack. Because one of the readers that she was watching got it too. And I read it and I said, oh, it looks like, yeah, but it looks like it's going to be an attack on a president. And I thought it was Trump, but we don't know anymore. I don't know. And just stay hopeful, manifest good light and good outcome for Joe Biden. Uh, I'm not trying to incite fear or anything. This is just for entertainment purposes. It's only everything and anything can change. Keep that in mind. This is one of the many possibilities that could happen. But uh, stay hopeful and just done good energy to Joe Biden. I really started, I thought this reading would be very helpful, a lot of informative and very informative.
but um, it appears that some of it is a little confusing. That means that we're not meant to know exactly what's going to happen. So just stay tuned for that. Uh, if you guys like my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content such as this. Um, I apologize for today's video that I wasn't able to give you the quality information that you guys normally receive. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to end the video because I'm sure you have many other things to do tonight. But thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you. I love each and every single one of you. Good night, my baby dinosaurs.